totally agree. And uh, the work will be cut out for them here as G2, known to be ancient specialists. As uh, we go towards the A bomb site here, G2, with smokes available, a couple of them, and a flashbang as well. They're actually sending almost everyone towards the A hall here. Okay, Donut Smoke and a CT Smoke, I think, are being lined up. Hooksy, where is this Molotov going to go? Will it be back a site or will it be towards Temple? Because that's where Temple, uh, right? Custom, or KST, as he prefers, currently resides. It's the util being lobbed on out, and while well, the flash, it's not too bad. Oh Nico gosh. just one taps it away, so in they are. That was simple. Nico, go kill the temple player, and he will. That's unbelievable. That P250 looking very sharp indeed. One bullet required. The retake begins. Flash and a go here looking likely. Hunter with the flank late through Donut, but there's the flash. There's the go. They're pushing in quite quickly. Very noisy about this, and Hooksy's actually held on to this Molotov. Could be perfectly placed. DS does have the smoke, though, and that's going to be landed first. Oh, Issues now. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. The smoke going down. There is no kits available, but here comes the defuse regardless. Hooksy spraying them down will actually deny the defuse here, but things getting a little bit problematic. The double pistol combo of Stododo coming through. A three versus one. It's all down I don't to Hooksy. Know if there's time, Henry. Did they get on the defuse too late? There's no time. But yeah, they've done enough. Right. They just they just took too long to get on the defuse after Hooksy knocked the first individual off. You mentioned no kit. Well, Arasdose has no life. Uh, Jill and Stododo will stay alive, sure, but. Yeah, G2, uh, they, they get a gift right there. Just the, the lack of persistence on that diffuse. They do enough, they get the round, and that's the 1-0 start they're looking for. Yeah, I guess the bomb already half gone by the time the real retake attempt came through, but this is where the round kicked off. Nico, fantastic shot there toward the temple. The DS getting one through the smoke, but a nice open plant. Led them to uh, a pretty difficult finish here. All the kills found by Stododo and co, but uh, unfortunately not enough time. JKS wants to get in the pistol, not oh, looking happy. He's the pistol rounds, does he? No, apparently not. The oh. pistol victories, he, he wants a good individual performance from the team. So the P90, I haven't seen this in absolutely years. Yeah, Twistport won, uh, I think it was the other day, and uh, Harry and Hugo were making, a, I think it was Twist. I think they were doing like a whole sales pitch on the on the P90 and why it's a good gun. Well, it costs like uh, $2,350. That and was the point. And you don't get a kill bonus reward. Yeah, and then he just got one tap. He got flashed and one tapped over. You do get 50 bullets, sure, but I don't think there's any real pros for it, I'll be I, honest. I think it would have been a miss buy. I, in all my years, have never seen Justin intentionally buy a P90. But he's got exactly enough for a P90 and a helmet, Chad, so you might be incorrect there, I don't know. Maybe he accidentally hit the auto buy button? I don't think he'd ever give you a P90, though. I think a Galil would come out first. I don't know. Might not get any work here, that P90, is it? Hooksy, the specialist on the MAC-10. This was the force buy as well, but... Uh, a little bit lackluster in FTW this time, not really making the G2 boys sweat as Dododo with the dual elites once again. They just look so board. awkward. They do, don't they? They look so clumsy. Like, if you're going to carry two pistols, you know, you'd hold one like you're in the you're on the streets, like a gangster, right? You'd have one on the side, and you'd have, I, I, you wouldn't do that, but... I dare say, like, uh, special forces wouldn't ever have dual pistols going on. I don't think they'd be wielding a Kimbo, to be honest with you. It doesn't seem the most and efficient. what's the point? Nothing really. You just use, like, presumably, you just use uh, an actual SMG or a rifle, right? Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't really. How do you get stuck with these? Such an interesting weapon. Is it? Do you think it's like Tomb Raider inspired? Maybe. That's a good point. The original Tomb Raider, yeah. The... Always cracking out the double pistols, sliding, yeah. jumping. Yeah, you could be onto something. Maybe that's, that. that's, that's what it is. The whole a homage reason. to it, yeah. Okay. But, uh, they will save the dual elites. That's all they'll save with the armor of Sudodo. But uh, three thousand dollars per player. Pushing down the B ramp here, Nico making light work of them. Not really much to report here. A kill was found, but that's about it. I did have some people reach out, Henry. We've, what have uh, we got? got? Quite a few. He's rooting for him. Okay, yeah. so he's in the the, the pro hooksy camp. Yeah, he's in the bleachers. He's he's cheering for him. He's got a couple signs made. We've got uh, Stuart. He's uh, he's from the Hello, UK. Stuart. He's sitting in his office with his headphones on, listening to us commentate as if it's a podcast. A wonderful okay. way to see through his work day. Excellent. Well, we'll hopefully make it a little bit more entertaining for you here. Nico with the Mac 10 only can find one, and that's the push towards the B ramp. But guess what? The A side's completely open, and that's going to be the plant and presumably the round. Anything else? Uh, we also have Jay Knox. I've met this gentleman. He's come to, to one of the HTV confirmed lives. Okay. Uh, he's currently wearing a uh, cologne shirt while getting a tattoo session complete. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, and he's watching the game or listening I, to it? I guess he's got it on his phone. He's having he a little bit of yeah, if, if he tweeted it and joined in, yeah, you're right. Wow, yeah, good luck okay. to you, sir. Well, good stuff to everybody who's uh, playing, watching, enjoying their uh, Friday. I forgot it's Friday. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, well, what was her name? So the, I was, I was going to make a reference to the Friday song, but... Um, uh, Rebecca that's Black? The, that's the one. Yeah. She, she never forgot it's Friday. She definitely didn't. She was all about it. That's uh, 
There it is, the first real gun round coming through. Monacy with the AWP, and uh, we'll see a fast approach towards middle here. They'll be pushing through the bombardment of utility, and Hooksy with a lovely double kill there towards middle. That's about as good as it gets, Chad. And that is the perfect T side mid take. Look at all the util, the donut smoke, the top Ooh. mid smoke. Another one for Hooksy on Stadodo. This is a big round from the in game leader. This is him taking matters into his own hand. Single handedly wins the round here. And uh, that's a five on two. Takes down the Orphan CD spawn as well. What a great shot. Now, I'm going to put out a request here. I know that it's kind of unlikely, but we'll put the request anyway. Okay. If they do continue with that mid advance, oh, nice little smoke there from Hooksy as well. Might want to pick that one up, everybody. Once you've got the donut control, you can smoke out CT spawn just as you like. Uh, but it, just if we could highlight from a bird's eye view camera to show all the T utility, I'd love to be able to talk through that during a future round if, if we could get that. I, we'll put the request in. But uh, yeah, you, you get the top mid smoke, the donut smoke, you get the infinity molly, which lands in front of uh, donut as well. Plenty of flashes over the top. And then what is important is the teammates who are coming up the rear. Hold up a second, Nico's got this dead to right. Uh, the players coming out the rear need to make sure they extinguish, and the first player, Hooksy, just needs to get that fast parthing, uh, which I think has been attributed to Config in the way Astralis like to take mid a lot. So that player just needs to zerg on out and hope that I, I his assume the, the roles will change based on spawns. Exactly, right? right? So, and so that's everyone the has to know the smokes, everyone has to know the, the setup and what they're doing in each role. There's, and there's obviously like Mirage on Ancient. Uh, Vertigo, you can do the same on the CT side. You can smoke uh, top mid, right? The red house, that window position. Yep from uh, five out of the six spawns. So How mad is that? Like, even the last couple of years, I've really heard that come into fashion. Like, on Mirage, Smoky Window from five or six different spawns. Ancient, same thing. Vertigo, you can do it as well. Um, it's surprising. I never thought the game would get to that point where you can actually learn smokes of specific spawns. Like It's crazy, right? Yeah. There, there was even, like, Buster was even doing some on Dust2 to, like, land long corner smoke from whatever spawn he had nice. and stuff. So, yeah, the, definitely the details that these Counter-Strike players the are level, really starting to dig into is wild. But back down to the pistols here, and as we are expecting, not a great start, but Hooksy, a bit of uh, aggression out of him, just going to tuck himself into... I don't know what you guys are home call. I call it Beehive. Beehive. Yeah, beehive. If that works. I know no one is ever going to call it Beehive. I think it, it works on many levels. I think that's great. I give silly positions, silly names, so people never forget. Like the box on Nuke, you know that single box when yep. you come out of heaven? Sure. Uh, that box, when we were in Renegades, we called it Mushroom. <laughs> For any reason, I just said well, an easy name to remember. Because they just added it, and I was like, well, this is stupid. Let's call it Mushroom, because yeah. we don't have anything called Mushroom, and it's a silly... Like, where, where else are we going to... It probably has a real good name, but when new positions came in, just so it stuck with people, I'd always go for something a little bit uh, oh. off, off the beaten path. This position used to be known as Hugo's Bedroom, I believe. Yes, um, once cave. upon it, and Hugo, we had Hugo's Ledge, Hugo's Bedroom. Yeah. Hugo had a lot of positions on this map. <laughs> he did. He, he wasn't was, even playing uh, with us. He was part of the formative years of Ancient for sure. But um, Stadodo boosted up, and uh, I'm sure he'll be put to bed soon, unfortunately for him. Uh, the boost is actually looking pretty decent. He won't find a frag for it, but maybe his teammates will. Significant damage found. And yes, JKS does go down. Bomb plant denied for now. Four versus two. Agile coming in from long. And 5-7 uh, has been influential this tournament. Oh, oh the Deagle even more so. Apparently, there's a chance. With the reload, a knife will come through, though. And uh, that chance is thwarted. Well, Hooksy already has 14k. Um... 5-0 star, and this is the 5-0 star that is a dream. It's been clean rounds. The opposite Nothing's of what we saw close. in Inferno, right? Exactly. The first five were walking on eggshell type situations for G2 where they got broken as soon as FTW had won a single round. Yeah. Now they're flush for cash and the half is probably already won at this point. So if you wanted to go take the dog for a walk, don't. <laughs> you just realized you'd tell people to leave the broadcast. No, because they, should, they, they can wait. This will be over quickly. And, uh, That's a good then point. They can All right. For a walk. Come in for, from a different angle. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, watch the game. And you'll still have plenty of time to do your chores, your homework, tidy Hugo's bedroom, whatever you need to do. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, just like Jordan Peterson says, make sure you, you, you make your Hugo's bedroom every day. You know? <laughs> every day. Every day. Make, make your Hugo's bedroom. <laughs> so... Here we go, a much more subdued round here, no fast mid plays, but a B execution does look very likely. I smoked off towards K for now. Oh, it's a reaggress, deep smoke. Never mind. Yeah, it didn't really work out too well for the DS there, and uh, Aras Dosse will be in hot water. He's got an AT remaining, and Stododo towards the cave. Hunter waiting for any A aggression here, and I dare say, as long as he holds his nerve, oh! oh! looks away at the worst possible second. He was aware the mid was open and maybe they could come behind him, but that would be a hell of a flank from the CT side, pushing middle and going towards AK, but 
There we have it. Back to a four and four. That's very unfortunate for Hunter. All right. Well, KST taking matters into his own hand here. That means that they can reposition. They know that this A lurk is dealt with. The KST over towards Donut. So it's now a three-man B stance with that bomb actually going back on over through T spawn. That's going to be Hooksy and Monacy as JKS gets peeked on by the Sweet Rice. Going to actually bring things into the favor as Nico now selling the fake here, really trying to keep these B players planted and will. Stray bullet through the boards. Could be the death of Aristose here, but creeping on in. Now the sound cues will be made. They have to deal with this donut player of KST. I dare say they will. Yeah, there it is. That's going to be a nice open plan now. This is where they seem to prefer it. And Hooksy, Good moves. Yeah, really nice movement. Boosting himself up there. It's a strong position. Difficult to flush that one out, especially when you've only got an HE. And uh, they do have the kit, but Aristose low. So he'd be on defusing and presumably wiped through the smoke if they did have one. And the contingency plan of Nico here to come late mid to Donut. Hooksy, he spotted one. Honestly, can swing on in when things get a little bit too threatening. And now Hooksy can actually just play tight. They need to push closer to clear him. A nade, sure, it's going to do a little bit of damage. But honestly, can flash the step out from Sadoto. He will get the kill back. And here's the contingency plan. Nico, Absolutely. he rocks up better late than never. Kicks in the door. It's a stylish entrance. And... Maybe the sixth round confirms. The Dodo's going to go down with the bomb here. They're going to lose everything. Oh, he gets a... No, he didn't get away. Definitely didn't get away. Didn't so, get away. Honestly, goes down, but they recover their rivals, AWP. They go up six to zero. This is much more comfortable than Inferno, which was messy at times. They were surviving with one play on the CT side time and time again. Couldn't get going, but they're in full control right now. They've got tons of money. Money for days and uh, quite the opposite story on the FTW side of things. Is that down to... Partial buy territory, around $4,000 per player. Now, uh, Peter's chimed in. Hello, Peter. Uh, he says, can we talk about how G2 have passed would have lost one if of the If they do win this, right, they just rely on a couple of other results. Exactly. And Very they're, likely they're results as well. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. Happen. So I think that that's great for G2, like, uh, considering, like, this is a new team and only played one tournament so far. They're doing very well indeed. But uh, Aristorce also doing well here in round number seven. But his teammate and comrade, De Diaz, will be dropped towards their K position. Oh, and they're towards long there. Deagles are looking quite spicy right now. I have to say, maybe another kill available, but Hunter will dispatch to Dodo and get control of long with the Molotov thrown by his teammate as well. KSD, a nice little maneuver there. Pushing through the flames, unexpected. And he might actually be able to finish things off here. Monesi with the chance to close things oh. out, but not going to happen. It's going to be the Desert Eagles now find their first round there. It would have been a great sequence from the young sniper to get that third kill, but a little bit too much for Tool Order. And they knew that Aristose was over towards Cave, so I assume that's why Monesi looks there late, but he already slipped back out because Aristose got the opening frag, the big DOS we're calling him around here, the on the way DOS. into the site before that cave smoke had plume. Just the quickness. This was the problem. Stododo stalls out that aggressive maneuver. Hunter gets one back. JKS was a little bit late to react here to this push from KST around the long side with the MP9 in hand. So maybe some bad info. We're just not expecting the swing, but Monacy does his best to dance around the pillar and get things done. Oof. Great shot. You can see a little bit of a hollow victory there. They're not exactly fired up yet. But uh, they've already lost enough rounds. Exactly. That, that's a very good point, to be honest with you. The fact they're on the CT side of Ancient, their opponent's map pick, and they've already got so much to work with six rounds would yeah a, a serviceable half for sure and uh, they've got an org out i guess this makes sense in this sort of map lots of long-range duels um don't see it too much these days to be honest with you if at all not getting a lot of shine here i think there's still anchors in certain positions like beyond dust two or yeah oh they pop through this it's a question to ask here because the defense has actually been repositioned they are coming through through the flames through the flashes through the fire and well hooksy's made some space but not clear in his corners the tall box for kst will net him one it's hunter's turn to try and find the trade it's the dodo He'll silence him for now. JKS is there with a safe pair of hands, but it is a three on three, and this A bombs are notoriously hard to hold on to. And maybe they don't have to, because Nico's into B. Boys, uh, okay, back. we did everything we needed to do on A, make the long transit all the way back, and they will. And Nico can even try and cut off some of the quicker rotation points here. You want to jump up? You want to come fight towards ledge? Well, you can. It's going to say, can get kind of awkward to jump up towards those boxes. Like, they can spot you while jumping up and maybe have an advantage. That's exactly what happens. And uh, De Diaz, oh, he's let them get by. He doesn't hold on to it. This next up to the plate is going to have to be a Jill here. And I think he, he does it. He's, he's got a great spot, but uh, Monacy, AWP, perfect weapon for the job. And they're just going to be baiting the plant to see if the CT is nearby, but anything but. It's on the other side of the map, unfortunately, towards middle. Well, they've lost track of him at least, right? They know where he was when he killed Nico. So that's going to suggest it's likely he's coming from Cable behind. Cable ramp, yeah. I think you're right, but uh, still, there's the kits. About to say he doesn't have one, but... That's the first shot he needed to hit. Takes down the orb. 
Up against JKS, he's also low at this stage as well. And, and that's uh, uh, going to be it. Quite an uh, easy finish. He, did, he must have seen JKS there. As soon as, he, as soon as he forgot that first kill, he must have seen JKS behind the pillar because he knew exactly. He was ready for that swing. So, okay. Uh, that right there is, uh, is a bit of an odd one. Back-to-back -back rounds. It was looking very good there for G2. A three versus two. Nico, as you mentioned, looking for the rotations. It's just as soon as I saw the, the run-up to the box, I... Uh, fell victim to that sort of uh, interaction a few times. It's very awkward once they jump up and they get the intel. So this one here, right? So at what point did he catch the info here on this step? Because immediately someone must have seen something. He was already ready for that pillar position. Didn't push forward, just stalled it out. It was a good round. They do get the bomb down. Uh, Nico was also asking for the HP of uh, Didius. Yeah. He must be, it was 19, just a note. That's uh, another full buy. Maybe the last of the gold here for G2 as they boost above the smoke here. Just looking for any players getting towards the, the ledge position. In terms of mid control, nothing really there for the CTs. They've actually opted for a passive donut hold. Whereas Dosse, more of an aggressive stance towards the cave here. Needs both. Needs nothing. Does some damage, to be fair to him, but yeah, ultimately gives it up and it's a five versus four. Off towards red. It's so much easier now with the changes to Ancient to segregate one side of the cave position like that. Before, it used right. to be so much deeper. And, oh, yeah, we've you... seen this before. JKS, we do better than Hunter. Yes. JKS, okay. last couple of days, has struggled with a couple of those kills. Mirage, those notably. Those especially, yeah. But uh, that was absolutely fine. Well held, and that should be a kill even while blind for Nico, but a bit unfortunate there. The DS gets him at the perfect time, and Hooksy... <gasps> Looks a bit awkward here, actually, and indeed he'll go down. Why so one by one? Uh, this is where I think it's just the, the level of opponent they have against them here, that they're maybe taking a couple of extra sing swings, a couple of extra peaks. We've already spoken about the six rounds they have to their name being quite a lot, and, uh, well, the fact they've already killed one player A main, they're not going to expect another. Agil may actually have the round-winning maneuver here. JKS is at least considering it. He's oh, did it very well, so that is a great little protect to the president right there. Hunter will get the bomb down, and as long as they don't overstep the mark here, they should be converting this one. Absolutely. With the DS on 18 HP as well, the Dodo of the Orb, it's their round to lose, G2. They're not considering main again. Hunter oh, might right. go down here. I think he absolutely is. Clean shot and execution towards the back of the head. And now it's actually a two versus one. JKS will creep out of the temple. Clean kill on the first, but does he assume it's a full defuse? Takes the gamble, it's not. Does he get off the bomb? Sticking oh, he's it, pulling it. it. He's it. pulling it. Oh, oh he's behind the box oh, and he gets yeah. it. That's three in a row now for FTW. The round is thrown away. The plant, just not good enough. They normally plant the open position by the cave chat. They didn't do it this time. Yeah, worried about the CT spawn because they've all come in through Donut, right? So there was too oh, many issues no. to worry about. They had to go for the safer of the plants right there. And a third man in main in the same round on the CT side. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I don't think G2 have either. This is the kill that makes it all possible. Hunter looking like a, a plum, sticking out like a sore thumb. The kill straight back from Stadoto. and damage then did he do? JK is trying to do it all here on the clutch. He just can't connect the dots on the shots. And now another opening kill. This is the bottom of the barrel for the money here for G2. They lose this one, and FTW are back in winning ways with four in a row, but it's a Hail Mary push no. out. And no, no, no. Things are really starting to fall apart now. Yeah, the wheels are falling off. As you said, the money's low. They're riding the coattails of the lost bonus right now, and the bomb's going down, but... Money's at absolute zero, four versus two. FTW starting to wake up here after being six, zero down. They scraped together potentially four in a row here. Back to what T-Spawn we go, and the CTs offering themselves up still get to dink off. What a push that was. All right, yeah. Dizzy has taken a couple of liberties there. Now, he will still deny this push through the doors. That smoke having plumed means there's no way through for now. Hunter's going to get the AWP thanks to Bogdan's law, but... What are you meant to do with this one? Scattered across the map here, like the Dragon Balls. I have to collect them all, G2, if they want to win an unlikely round. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that reference, so I can't really run with it with you. Well, but... Basically, in Dragon Ball Z, the Dragon Balls, you need to collect them to they're get actual, the wish. They're like, Pokeballs sort of things? Well, or... they're, the, they're the, the gold balls with the stars on them. Okay. I believe there's seven of them. Right, okay. I might be getting my lore wrong here. <laughs> okay. But you need to travel across the world to collect them all, and then you get a wish from the dragon, and traditionally they just bring one of their friends back to life. Uh, which uh, is could you ask for more wishes? Probably or? what Monacy wants to do right now. Uh, he might w True. He might want another wish here. Uh, so 20 seconds, the pivot. He is going to get caught here by KST and handled. All right, whirring into action now, the Phoenix. It's been in the ashes for the entire... Yes, so Pro League group, but let's see if they can start to show a little something, something that just as G2 thought that this one was done, still got plenty more rounds of Counter Strike. Plenty more Counter Strike single handedly, but uh, MP9s 
of FTW. Could be actually fine, considering Hunter and Monacy don't have helmets to speak of. And maybe just an execution. You see two players lining up the smokes outside. Um, you would imagine Donuts and CT Sport chat. Well, this has worked for them before, at least when probing. It's KST behind the big box. He's got a lot of work to do here. Might get a lineup, but his teammates will get the kills first. It's KST to step on out with the assist from Jill. He's going to get another. The USP comes out. So Dodo will chime in. It's just JKS standing. And this lurk from Nico, it's going to be way too little, way too late. The bomb's loose, and he doesn't have a hope or a prayer right now. He's got the AK-47, though, and with a minute to work with, I dare say he can make it interesting, at least. I don't think he can win it, but maybe two kills is uh, well within his remit. He's just going to wait for a mistake to kick things off. Let them bleed out some utility at the very least. That will cost him some money going forward. They still have two smokes and flashes here, and they don't have to peek to what donor. They can allow him to actually come out and force the issue. They've got the bomb within their territory. And here comes potentially the first mistake, but Aristos, it looks like he's absolutely nailed it. Oh, he's not going to see this either. Nice uh, him as well. I would go get for this the head, knife. Get in his head. Yeah, give him the slash, slash, bang. Hello. Just you creep back, creep back here into me. And Aristos shows him why it's one of the delicacies of Portugal, the sweet rice tasting <laughs> real nice. <laughs> uh, I like that because you know Nico is going to be annoyed by that prospect. The fact you've got five rounds in a row now, you've knifed him and closed things out as well. They're finding their confidence. They can laugh about that. They can be start to get fired up. Sure, it's very unlikely to make it out of this group, uh, even get a win on this map. But uh, they want to find some experience against top tier teams and finding their footing now after being 6 0 down. And that's what I'm talking about, Chad. That's where you want to... Uh, maybe you'll be adding fuel to the engine, though. That's the problem. You might be firing him up. Maybe. Uh, this is the thing. Like, you started 6-0 up. You're probably expecting yourself just to coast to 10 rounds here for G2. There's actually been some resistance. You've been sloppy in late rounds. You've made too many assumptions and making the asses. Well, something that G2 have been pretty good at historically. See if they're able to pull themselves back into things here. 5 AK-47s, plenty of U-tilt. Let me see... It's the window smoke thrown out this time. They're actually going to segregate over towards cave with a cave smoke in play. Only one deep incendiary mid, and they'll immediately smoke on top of the FTW. So they're not even putting as many resources into this mid lockdown as previous. Yeah, not at all, really. All quiet in the middle area for now. No CT presence to speak of apart from a Jill with the MP9 in towards Red Room. So uh, that area is open for business. Speaking of which... Very quiet and slow pace from G2. The bomb stood down at the T ramp. Whereas Dossi has played heads up CS here a couple of times, but hasn't necessarily worked out for him. This time with the AK 47. Yeah, a couple of adjustments here. Uh, where the tarps are, it's no longer as paper thin spammable, yeah. but uh, where the wood still resides, you can definitely pepper through and do some very, very lethal damage. I see Rain normally finding a lot of damage. He's such Rain. a geek at it, Rain. Yeah. He was one of the first to really explore all the little slither gaps, but Paris Dossi getting some hot toes right there, a bit burnt as he is sent back, and three-man behold even has a fourth in tow. Agil is pretty close here. They're putting a lot of faith in KST. Bad smoke. And Oxy's through, so the liberty has been taken. If Aristos oh. swings out, Monacy should be able to get him here, and if he can't, Hooksy sure should. He needs to suggest he's falling back now somehow. The bait hooks in. Oh, he's definitely better at him. Hooksy, you're going to have to swing on out no, here. It's actually the nightmare situation, actually, Chad. Hooksy might not apart. clear this. And I don't think Monis is ready for this position either. That smoke is much better. They have no idea he's there. Oh, okay. Well done. Good awareness there. That was a very, very important kill. I dare say this one as well. Dododo locked down. Just time, one. They've actually got seconds. so many players here. MP9 watching Cave. The DS in towards Cubby. And here's the MP9 striking. A boatload of damage inflicted. KST. Oh, it's too far away to really deny anything. So the round should be under control here for G2. Wait, 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 hold up a second here. The amount of times that they've been in a position like this, they should have won so far in the five round stretch that FTW are on. I want to see what KSD has. Right now, he's doing statue mode. This is everyone's favorite mode. You stand still and you get the first for free. Then you get shot in the side of the head. But <laughs> alternatively, in another reality, you pivot and you get the second kill and then you get a winnable one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, good effort. For sure, manages to take another G2 member down, and uh, going to be entering a full buy situation. G2, that is quite the opposite story for FTW. A lot of close rounds, as you've been saying, they've been clawing their way back into clutches and retakes, and it's been quite dicey and one-on-one -on -one clutches and all that sort of stuff. So they've actually got MP9s once again, all for Sudodo, but no helmets and no kits. Bare bones utility for KST as well. Now she's showing a bit more presence towards middle this time. So uh, we've got the orb there, initial smokes and Molotovs exchanged, and Nico. Grants himself full access towards a ledge, and the flashbang catches him somewhat. Does he want to swing on this? 
Oh, he's underarmed the smoke here, Jill. He's kind of stuck in this position unless his teammates can get a flash to get him out. They actually haven't pushed too aggressively forward and backup is coming. So the clampdown on mid from the CT side is here. They have called things basically free of issues. This is one of those cave gaps we were talking about. And Nico's going to assume this one. So it was all for naught from both teams as far as mid's concerned. And that actually works out a bit better for FTW. Well, we'll see if they can hold on. Smoke towards red once again. Now we'll have a second attempt here to get towards Donut. Clear that area out. And how has he done that? Stru through the smoke, clean as you like. Finds the AWPA. A frustrating frag to receive there, Chad. Yeah, very rough stuff. The Monastery has been having a good game here on Ancient, up to 13 kills, but they'll still slink three players in towards the donut position. Fully glazed, ready to go, as JKS is going to be the individual making the pressure from main. A smoke towards spawn. Flash at the ready. The fight starts coming. Waltzing on out. There's a likelihood they get the bomb down for free here. Big Box Molly is going to hold KST at right. bay. Will Jill find another kill through the smoke? Doesn't seem likely, but a 5 on 4 retake for FTW is very possible here. It's that defensive plant again once more, so just uh, watch out for that. There are no kits available, bear in mind, so no cheeky 5 second diffusers will be coming in, but cheeky shots. They've got those in buckets and spades. That's towards Donuts, and uh, that's where Nico will be residing as well. Will they overlook the position considering yeah, the time? Looks like it. And uh, he might get a double kill here if he can play his cards right. Nice work, Hunter as well, and they actually had the man advantage now. Three or two DPs coming in. Again. Come on, lads. <laughs> like I said, 10 second DPs there. Even if you have the kit, that wasn't going to happen. They get him after about four seconds. So, eight to five, G2 win the half. But after being six zero up, I, I feel like they'll be. A little bit disillusioned with that one. They they thought they should have really run away with this one. And 10-5, they, they, they pretty much have. Now. Yeah. They pretty much have still. Like, it's still a very good half of set of ancient. Don't get me wrong. Just considering the start they had, uh, I'm sure they'll be a little bit underwhelmed with uh, the finish. But uh, full eco here from FTW. USPs, literally nothing purchased into round. Not even a cheeky flash. And it's going to be rushing towards the eight tunnels, I think. In we go. Always fun. Let's see how many Hunter can get here. We should probably be on board with him. He might hear a couple of these steps very short. Lee, at some point the penny might drop. They are coming extremely noisy behind him. The USP bullets will probably be the first thing to give it away. The course correct there into one, and now it's Not Nico's very. turn to tap away. But overextensions like could be the death of them. It has once, it has likely reared its head oh, no. again. The USP Jan? behind Jan? has done so much damage, and you really hate to see it. They actually got a four versus three. Hooksy and Nico are low. This round is on. They can go for this. They know they've got more dinks as well. Good smoke for JKS will buy some time. They can assume there's no kits available here. But one misstep from G2 could spell absolute disaster. That steadies things out, and that confirms the round at least. So there it is. A little bit dicey, for sure, but they win the round. It doesn't really have any knock-on effects. They don't save an AWP or anything like that. It's the last round. They're absolutely fine. Yeah, just a bit scared. They're absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm sure the comms as soon as these first two kills came in and the USP <laughs> shooting in the back, as soon as oh, this no. is happening, the comms are probably not everything was fine. Uh, Definitely not, but uh, they win the round and that's the headline. That's what anyone's going to remember. That's true. People check the stats, they'll go, this guy did good, this guy did badly. The scoreline was this. We'll have no context of how it all unfolded. Exactly. And the world will go on. As it always does. As it always does. We go in trouble. Aras Dossi gets the better of him through the smoke this time, making a few footsteps, trying to beat the flames. He was already down to 40 points of health. Monacy, however, boosted outside the B bomb site and beating the smoke is Hooksy. He might as well go for a kill here. Maybe not in that fashion. This could be a little bit problematic he's now. Surely he's locked. That had to have been the kill. There was no way Aradosa got out with more than one frag there. So Monacy will deal with him. Well, they expect the other of the Deers here, though. He's you have to close. these days and towards the K position. It's always so tricky to get through. So many little nooks and crannies to check out, but a very clean kill from JKS towards the donut position. The A bomb side is open for business. Oh, the Deers has got a kill here, though, for free. As you said, they don't expect the third, but honestly, we'll take him down. Two versus ones. Last round, you're obviously going to be going for it. Well, they lost a round like this before, where they had to do the full rotation after getting into one site, and Stododo is in the perfect position to drop this bomb. JKS is currently oh, searching so for him, careful. Uh, but won't be able to find him. So how aware is Monacy here? That's the big question, Mark, and Stododo turns a series. Absolutely true. And uh, it was G2 that went up 6-0 in the first half, but FTW 
formidable opponent at times, managing to get five rounds and make things frustrating for G2, for sure, as Oras Dosse will be challenging towards the cutout, and we have got some cave attack going on. Okay, well, Jacos there with the jewelies gets stuck in Good very sure. early, goes one for one, but Hooksy's there to bring things in the favor, and honestly, with a crispy click, the bomb will be getting planted towards B, mind you, so that's a victory in itself. I'm a little bit worried about this one again, Chad. It's never to be worried about G2, okay. don't we? But Hooksy on the jewel Berettas, that was the Good key job. to success after all. So a multi-kill from Hooksy, the defuse will feel nice. And that will be 11 to 5. Not so nice for Sweet Rice. The ancient say. jive. But uh, it is going to be the bomb planted. And I guess at this point, oh, do you want to force buy into it or go for the full buy into the next round of your FTW? I might be tempted to do it now and maybe steal a round away because you really need to get back into it. And they seem to agree they've got the grills, MAC-10s. I haven't seen multiple kills of the, the Jewel of Eats yet, Chad. It's always one and done. Well, everybody right now, right, as I mentioned the other day, I think it was Maui. He said that he thinks Zywu is the best Jewel Beretta player. Now, everybody else since then, they want to put their name in the hat. So yeah. we're seeing so many people. This is their auditions. It's like American Idol. They're uh, sending their audition through well, to no Simon Cowell. No one's me away so far, I'll be honest. Uh, but we'll see. Well, we don't press the red button for them. Or yeah, we okay. do press the red button. Yeah, that, that gets them out. Okay, You're thinking of the one where the chair spins around. Uh, the voice, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're thinking of that. Yeah. But yeah. You can do that as well if you like. Do both. Well, with the hybrid. Yeah. I think we could have the button and the chair. Um, full execution there. Actually looking pretty tidy from FTW. They're going to have a bomb plan here. That would be great. But remember, this is the full investment. A button, a chair, and execution. I thought we were in prison for a second there. <laughs> uh, that was good in the hood. As they're Ooh. handling this, it's going to be fights on multiple fronts. One player remaining. Nico, even if he doesn't deny the plant, we'll get the kill. And yeah, there's the plant, but it was the force buy, and he'll just wait for them to recover. All the grenades, any pistols, anything like that as the defuse come in, 12 to 5. And uh, I guess it's fine. They'll be able to have a partial by next, then a gun round. But uh, definitely not ideal. So three M4s will survive the round. Number 18 coming up, as I mentioned, about $3K. But a, a nice little fake there, Chad, has to be said. Good execution towards the A side of the map. Mm. And uh, sending the bomb in towards B, it yields a plant. It's not a, a winning strategy per se, but... Uh, Oh, we're just seeing how the, the new high fives of GT there. Didn't quite catch them. Everyone has different here. versions. You they know? go for the double tap here. Sometimes a triple tap, but... Uh, it never looks too strong between those two. Like, they never look like they're putting all their Those are expensive hands. Uh, honestly, he's got there at the end, Chad. You've got to be, right. be careful with them. The prize chook. Yeah. There is a deep mid-smoke. Now, if you land it, as the Molotov is still up, it'll... Maybe a little bit of a one-way yeah, to look I was about to say, there. it looked like a prime one-way. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. And honestly, getting run down, they've actually given over Red House, and that's Hunter's domain. So he'll gladly take these kills. Six bullets remaining. Five, four, three, two, dead. Uh-oh. So again, it does start to slide out of control here. Hang on. Jeez, there's a lot of risky business going on here, but the bomb will be tossed further forward in towards Cave. Get a reload going. Get a teammate going. And one, one by one type of Counter-Strike here. Monacy will finish the Dosse, and uh, we're continuing. There are the smiles. Now things are looking a bit more comfortable for them. 13 to 5, and uh, like we said, a partial buy in the previous. Here's the first real gun round, and uh, you don't even need an AWP for Monacy right now, to be honest with you. Happy yeah. to stay on the M4. Should be able to close things out here. Sudodo won't have a ton of options. It'll be smoked out across the map to kick things off. You can boost above them, but... Uh, I don't want to be finding any opening frags early on. Uh, well, double mid start here, and you will see teams starting to throw this incendiary, as you just saw there, in front of the door. That's okay. because a lot of teams will throw the like, close and deep molly combo, but that door molly means that if anybody extinguishes, they're going to be running out into that molly, and then they're they trying to get to the screws. Box, they can't exactly, really get there. Right? Okay, so that's the only that's cover. one of the adjustments to that mid take Makes that we're a lot seeing. Of sense. Oh, they're not expecting their position towards long. That's Monacy taking out the Diaz, and they might just have to limp it towards the site here. An opportunity for the AWP. There's an eagle is drawn and executes to Dodo. Great shot. Bomb down. Round concluded. 14 to 5. Easy as you like. I like that fact. All right. Well, uh, we do have more Counter Strike coming up today with <laughs> Harry and Hugo. Uh, they'll be bringing you the next two series. We it's do have ones, Big right? versus MIBR and FaZe versus Outsiders. That's now, the game I of the really game. am enjoying Outsiders. Me Ooh. too. That's Flit a is game. a beast, isn't he? Yeah, oh. Flit is. Uh, Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. What's happened there? <laughs> Lads. The first one was... Were they getting spammed as well or naded? They got slowed by the nade, and then right. Sudoto jumped to safety and then dropped back into it. So, uh, didn't go very well at all. But that's no. probably the story of the tournament for FTW. Hooksy's fired up, though. 
16, potentially 17 kills to his name. I dare say he's got it. One more shot. Oh, that's a good one. But uh, there we have it. 15 to 5, series points. A coach's not, dream. Not too much to get excited about here, but if FTW start pulling a few rounds back, you never know. Um, there's the grenade. So, yeah, the grenade combo coming through. Hello. Slows him right down. So he jumps out of the way. And then it goes back in for more. Yes. Ah, so you know what? No, Actually, I can't, I can't be if we get out of here quicker, uh, <laughs> we can prep for tomorrow's game. Yeah. Oh, well. AKs across the board. Tomorrow they play big FTW for everybody playing at home. Then on the final day, they play MIBR. Uh, I would say they have a, a shout at a map against big, maybe. All a, right. A, a slim chance. All right. Well, they Maybe. Get, they get a chance here. They've actually been able to circumvent this little donut boost that's just happened here. So, honestly, I'm not sure if he's aware that somebody can be so up close and personal. He, he definitely isn't aware. You can see him. He's taking glances deep mid. He was worried about ledge. He's made a jump, and Agil, he can use this sound cue now to start pushing the issues. They've actually been able to thread the needle here. This round, round 21, has a moment where it can get interesting. Now, JKS hasn't been taking an aggressive stance down mid. Hunter, not aware of this at all, and that little boo-boo on the boost might cost them here. JKS will have to defend against the remaining four on different fronts. Three fast through donut, a great flash, and surely the kill comes with it. JKS, completely blind, cannot convert. KST, 17 frags for him. He was one that we wanted to keep an eye on in terms of that department, continuing to live up to his end of the bargain. And a round for FTW. So, uh, just an overlooked push top mid. Agile yeah. wins the round. That's how a lot of rounds go down in Ancient, though. You'll see a lot of the Lurker players, the Riflers, pushing through smokes, looking for gaps. Uh, we saw it a lot last week. I remember the endpoint games especially. Remember, Nerds mm. was the master of those sort of pushes and just being a real nuisance for a lot of top teams, including Na'Vi, of course. Um, so, yeah, great work from FTW there. And we will see four players survive. And at this stage, just making the scoreline more and more competitive for that. HLTV score is on the page. That's what it's all about. That's all, all that matters. So the only thing that matters, guys, is the stats. It's all you can really hope for at this all stage. All the people talk about. It's all that matters. And what do you think about this Alexi B situation? Interesting. What a move Slap that was. Like, like uh, you, could, you could tell they were in uh, complete disarray at uh, last week's group stages. Oh, they changed all for mid-tournament. Changing all for mid-tournament, they went down, what, 0-3, and there was like the, the conversation, if they win the rest of their games, maybe there's a chance they yeah. can still do it. And uh, they gave it their all. They did look much better going forward. Um, Rez was pretty decent on the all, but changing uh, the foundation, the, the chemistry of the teams, they're going from Swedish-speaking to English-speaking, they'll be absolutely fine, but it just it kind of loses its identity a little bit, like, mm. of what NIP has always been. But the fact now, bringing a new in-game leader as well after Hampus has been celebrated as this huge brained uh, fragging in game leader it just kind of begs the question like was that all just speculation everyone's been praising him for that sort of stuff yeah and they'd won out the war against fanatic to be the swedish representation right fanatic went international yeah. first but uh, let's see if g2 can get this one done they have lost the opening kill to hunter here with the late mid controller smoke towards donut so red house is bleeding yet again the gap that will have to be addressed at some point here and a nice little smoke there from didius he's gonna lob that one out on the fly is it gonna land where intended, it's a slight gap. I say nice smoke, it's not at all. It's I like a nice the idea, idea. Of it, yeah, yeah, for sure. Very cool. But, uh, honestly, though, presumably going to get at least one. Uh, he'll go for the second as well, and that's more like it's it a one him. way for him, practically. Yeah, actually, you're right. And uh, he might have guaranteed the series right there and then. Two players limping in towards the cave, and Hooksy will buy himself some time just to reposition, maybe even push towards the smoke. As Arrows Doss say, my time in here, great positioning. Really enjoyed that. Both players around him, he has no real backup for now. He definitely do with some. But uh, another chance for FTW here. Should be able to get the bomb down at least. Uh, must honestly, okay, Yo, okay. straight through the smoke. Uh, had a chance to fortify the site here, but now it's KST for 20 kills. A one on three spam through the smoke. The <laughs> like defuse is going to come through. Thanks, I wanted to give him something there. <laughs> and uh, Modus is going to defuse the bomb. 28 kills for the young gun. A great showing for G2 with a couple of things that the VOD review should probably help them.